All right, so today I got this uh, big long case here and it's got a rusted through drain pan. So I'm gonna try this stuff here and see what I can do with it. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is um, obviously turn this thing off right here so that hopefully it can start drying up. Uh, there's lots of places down here that I noticed the other day that I was here, well not the other day, it was a while ago. So like here's a good example. It is just rusted through and supposedly leaking all over the floor. So we're gonna try to repair that. We're not gonna try, we're gonna do it. These guys are characters. I tell you what. They shut the lights off on me. That's some shit. Oh, fun in the dark here. No, I'm just playing. They're gonna turn the lights back on here in a minute. It's like, it's like uh, in those movies, you know? When you break into the stores, you know what I'm saying? And go all the way down there. And all the way down there. Okay, then. Once you get your system pumped down. See, I want to do the whole pan. So, I'm either going to have to cut this coil out. Or I'm going to have to lift it out of the way. Because if you look. That this black seal goes all the way to the back. I want to seal this whole rectangle. Now, after taking the screws out of both sides. I'm at a crossroads where I can decide to either cut the coil and pull it out or if I can lift it and put something underneath it like some boards two by fours or two by six or something to where it's up out of the way I may be able to work on it that way okay with a little bit of effort on the man right here I got this bitch up Whew. Son of a bitch is heavy. You gotta do this shit by yourself. Boy. Tell you what, you gotta be careful. Cause this could have easily cut my coil if I wasn't being careful. So I did the best I could to be careful not to let it land on the copper tubing. This little thing. So, if you ever do this, uh, Watch out for that. All right. Now let's get to this. Now this stuff says use on wet or dry surfaces, but I would rather use it on a dry surface. So I'm gonna dry this the best I can. All right, I've done the best I can to dry it out. It's not really dry, but it doesn't have puddles of water sitting in it anymore. Now, here's a good example of where it's rusted out. You can see got that shit right there uh-huh it is just rusted through it's also down here as well there's holes I think that's a spot right here in these little areas mm-hmm got it there so I could have gone with either flex seal or this stuff. Someone said do flex seal and this stuff and I didn't think it was a good idea to mix both. So I'm going with this stuff. I'm gonna give it a try and we're gonna see if it's worth a damn. They want like 30 bucks a can for it. I got six cans so hopefully that's enough. I think it will be but I've never done this before so we're gonna see. Now the directions say to shake it. For a minimum of 30 seconds, I guess, yeah, there we go. It says to shake for a minimum of 30 seconds. And to apply it 10 to 12 inches, pretty much like spray paint. I never, I never do that. But we're gonna see how it applies. So I'm gonna start in this corner back here. It's still a little wet there, so I'm gonna take my paper towels and kind of clean that up before I start spraying. But I'm gonna set you right there so you can see.
hard to reach on this freaking coil. You gotta be careful. It'll cut you in the shoulder. Or the neck. Or whatever you so choose to hit on it if you do. So, you got to watch out. I never said it was a safe job. This commercial refrigeration shit. Okay. I guess it's now or never. Eh. Ugh. Fuck. Yeah, that's pretty. I like that. Alright. Okay. Get this Halle out of the way. I think I'm gonna like this stuff. Oh yeah. I believe I got some tie straps. Oh shit, water. Hate water. No. Uh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 coil. Don't fall, coil. Ah. That scared me. I thought the fucking coil was gonna fall on me. But thank God it was just shifting. Okay. Maybe I can shift you also. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, now I got more room, yo. Okay. What the fuck, man? It's feeding a little bit. I've got the damn thing off, but it's still feeding some. That's ridiculous. I really don't care. It can feed all at once. At least I didn't have to cut into the refrigerant circuit. All right, so let's get this bitch out of the way. The EPA calls it violating the refrigerant circuit. That's what they say. Okay. Oh, sorry. There we go. They say that if you violate the refrigerant circuit, you got to fill out the EPA form and all that shit. So, instead of cutting it out, I raised it. Watch out over here. Oh shit. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's no good. Okay. Up. Oh. Oh, fuck. That's just fantastic. Okay. Okay. Put. Shit. Okay, no, no, no. Motherfucker. Okay. You up there? Okay. Okay. Stay. Okay. You. Thing fell on me, or no, it didn't fall on me. Started shifting, started shifting, and I had to do something with it, so I got it like that now. I believe I can paint it like this. I call it paint, but I believe I can paint it like this and get it the way I need it.
stay, I tell you what. I'll be very mad if it doesn't fucking stay. Okay. You stay. Okay. I got six cans. I don't think I'll be able to really accurately film all this for you guys. I'm just gonna be able to get yeah. Well, maybe put you guys up on the shelf there. Yeah, I think so. You guys got lucky. Seeing us likes to fly away with the uh, freaking spray. See how this stuff holds up, yo? Yeah. We will see. Of this stuff. I was thinking about laying it over the areas that I have uh, holes and stuff at, you know? Maybe all across the whole bottom. Never used this stuff either. I guess we'll see if it's any good. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Hmm. Well, it is like metal. You cannot rip this stuff. You can't rip it. Or I can't rip it. Maybe I'm just a bitch, but I can't seem to rip it. Okay.
before. Well, I can't get too much of this on video. It's hard to do. It's 1.30 right now. I got me a hair dryer running. It ain't the best hair dryer in the world, but it's helping. I'm finding that it really needs to go on dry, as dry as possible. And this stuff really, if you spray it in one spot, it really gets thick. And I like that. And I have watched a, a few little spots, like you see over there, it's getting kind of gray looking. I think that's how you know when it's getting close to drying. But it takes a long time to dry if what you put it on is wet. Especially slimy, sludgy wet. It'll take forever to set. So, I gotta be done with this by the time the store opens at like 8 a.m. Right now it's 125. I think I'm gonna be all right, so. Fun, lots of fun. I think this is good stuff. I don't know if it's worth 30 bucks a can. But I think it's gonna work. So this is halfway. I got three cans down. So I'm trying to focus primarily on this center track here and then also right there. So all along there and all along there. Got a little bit more to go. I put this little panel on top of my dryer. It really helps out with the drying process. Speeds it up real quick. All right, so it's now about an hour after I laid my last little coat down, and I'll say it's hardening up real nice. It's real nice. So I think there's a you know, pretty good chance that it does all right. So some of it is still Pretty wet. Gonna have to wait it out for a little while and let it harden up a little more, I think, before I turn it back on. And then after carefully setting it back down, I've got my sixth can. I'm gonna spray it right along the center there. 
all the way across. Then I'll set my fans on top, kind of prop them up a little bit, let them air dry it or blow on it for like an hour maybe. I still got plenty of time. So, this was up. Okay, so after about an, an hour drying, I've set the coil back down. It's looking all good so far. I'm gonna spray one more coat of this down. I'm gonna let the uh, fans blow on it before I open the, the circuit back up. I think it's looking really good. Yeah, I've got a uh, valve leak in there. Not to say that this is going to last a very long time. They need to replace it. But what do you do when the boss says to fix it? They're not going to replace it, he said. So, okay. Whatever you say, man. Oops. Didn't mean to spray the coil. as good as it's going to get y'all at least I know that it will leak a little bit less if it still leaks I can feel confident about that there we go I like how that looks as long as I can get that to harden before I turn this thing back on. And I'll be happy with it. Yep. See how it gets real thick if you let it spray on one spot. I like it. All right. My techniques might be what some call it to be a little whack, but I like it. It works. I've got some air moving down here across the whole thing. I think. I'm gonna let it run like this for maybe an hour. Maybe an hour and a half, maybe two hours. I don't know, depends on how long I wanna stay. It is 4 a.m. right now, so. Maybe give it till 6 a.m., don't know. Guess we'll see. And I add 
a little heat to it as well. A little bit of heat to the situation. There we go. Is that going to do anything? Probably not. Okay, so my final product. I think it came out all right. And I think it's going to hold too. I don't even think that this stuff has to be dry to set. Because it doesn't say so on the can. Anyways, guys, I think it's going to hold. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it does. It's not big enough to replace the case. But anyways, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time.